here at the NASCOM Game Developers Conference and we're in conversation with the yet more programmers and developers, lots of young people around with some great ideas out there to really uh, make you want to come and play. And we're in conversation now with Amit Goyal and Arjun Gopal of Super Psych Games. Uh, guys, it's great to have you on. So thanks for joining in. Pleasure. Uh, now you have been developing games. You're based out of, I think, Delhi. That's where the mm -hmm. studio is based. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so the company is called Super Psych Games. I'm Arjun, he's yeah. Amit. <laughs> <laughs> how did you all get together? How, how did this start for you? Uh, we uh, used to work together in a radio station uh, back in Delhi. And uh, yeah, we've both been gamers since we can remember. And so we ended up playing a lot of cooperative uh, games together. And we were like, hey, you know, it's more fun making games as well. Let's give it a shot. And frankly, that's the story. Okay. Amit, uh, <coughs> what's the experience been like? Of, uh, of the last, I think, one year since the company was actually incorporated? It's been a great experience. Uh, I mean, it's a very different uh, way of working because I've actually like, gone through MBA, been in that corporate environment and I was in hardcore like, marketing and sales and everything. So, okay. so the way things work there versus the way things work now is ex extremely different. I mean, going from a very number-driven uh, scope of work to something which requires your creative inputs, something which actually is a lot of fun. And he doesn't have to, he doesn't have to wear. I don't have to wear. I don't have to wear. I mean, I don't have to wear trousers anymore. I think that's that's the the best the thing that has come the out. Of the job. It's yeah. the best thing that's come out. I don't have to wear trousers. Okay, so uh, tell me this. Now you've already come out with uh, one uh, one game, right? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. already been published, and it, it's called uh, yet another yet another bird game. Yet yeah. another bird game. Obviously, it reminds me of the, the very famous one. <laughs> But, uh, you know, why this name, what is the game all about and uh, what has the experience been so far? So, uh, <coughs> yeah, to be honest, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so we initially had thought of naming the game Bird on a Wire because it's about birds on wires, you know, you see these birds on wires all the time. Right. And we thought, hey, why don't we make a game out of that? Mm -hmm. And uh, it was called, we thought we'd call it Bird on a Wire. Uh, but I think Disney has a movie called Birds on Wire. <laughs> and we thought, no, no, we don't, we don't want to get into those legal issues. <laughs> and then we found that during that period, there were so many games with had birds in it because of, well, you know, who. <laughs> so we thought that, yeah, we just yet another bird game. And it was kind of a joke. And we thought that, you know what, just call the it, game. It right. just stuck. Yeah, yeah. So it's available on iOS, I think. <clears throat> yeah, uh, it is. Uh, uh, what about Android? Are you reaching um, that platform? Actually, uh, with Android, when we actually got into the whole industry, uh, I mean, we ourselves weren't very, uh, uh, we didn't know much. I mean, mm. we were also learning on the job. So mm. when we started making this game, we kind of ended up building it natively on the uh. tools provided by Apple. Mm. So <laughs> porting it to Android is like a big task now. So as of now, we're just focusing on iOS <coughs> and as in when, you know, how as the game proceeds and, you know, mm. if it picks up enough traction in the market, yeah, we'd love to go around to Android. Yeah, we feel it deserves an Android version, yeah. but... Uh, I don't know if the Android market deserves us yet. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> okay. That's a loaded one. Uh, okay, so let's talk about the journey to the App Store because it's okay to develop cool games, but then it's another thing to be seen on the store, to get the downloads going. Uh, tell me, Amit, the, what, what does it take to be visible and be successful on that App Store? The best thing you can do is catch the attention of the Apple editorial team, which we did not, but I mean, just from a like, dream for us. Okay. <laughs> So, I mean, if you get if you get noticed by the Apple developer team and editorial, uh, editorial it's, team, it's, it's, it, it kind of make, sure. makes your day because then they feature you on, uh, on the store because honestly, discoverability is the biggest challenge that everyone is facing right now. Mm. There are just so many apps out there mm. that yes, you release your app. I mean, getting the process of releasing an app is very, very simple. I mean, Apple has made it very easy for developers, which is probably why there's so many. And, uh, but from there, the, the best things that can happen to you is A, either you get a lot of downloads so you you build enough traction, enough uh, buzz around your game from other channels. And side marketing channels, uh, yeah, or Facebook, exactly. Like or Facebook, or Facebook or forums. Mm -hmm. Gaming community is a very vocal and active community mm -hmm. on the internet. So mm -hmm. so you get their attention while your game is being developed. So you do those things, which kind of pulls up your uh, game on the charts, and then you get noticed. And and once you're in the top 10, 20, 30 games, then you start picking up traction. Mm -hmm. Or if Apple notices you, and then they put you out there and they do your do their custom banners for you. So these are the things that you really need to, you know, make it on the app. What side. about uh, making money? Are you thinking of things like that as well, or is it just pure passion? Uh, we have to think of that. Correct. I it's mean, a company, yeah, yeah. It's business at the, at end, the end, end of the day. day. Yeah, at the yeah. end, it's yeah. about the money. But yeah. uh, it's not that easy right now to suddenly like wake up one day and say, "Hey, you no, know, I'm going to earn millions now." 
it's not that simple um but everybody has that dream but uh, yeah, i think the most important thing is before you even think of making money is to make a good game and or your product i mean you're as good as a product so i think that's a very fundamental thing uh, which is very important and as of now yes the focus is more on developing those products mm-hmm. versus uh, earning millions of dollars or rupees that right now yeah i mean the money has to follow <coughs> uh, i mean you cannot get into it with the objective of this i am doing this to make the money no so, absolutely so you have to kind of think of what, what what is what place your game has and what place do you have in the entire ecosystem what kind of games do you want to make mm-hmm. cuz you need to really like playing the games you make if you if you don't like your game how can you expect someone else to like it so then money is a question which comes in later the first but part but have you have you sort of decided upon the model that you would want to follow are you at all looking at free to play or are you happy with the current model where it's an upfront uh, you know mode of payment so for us i mean free to play is something which we are now going to experiment with i mean yet another bird game because of the fact that it was our first game and our first foray in the whole industry has been a very it's, it's been a learning experience for us so so we kind of so the pitfalls of the premium pricing model with yet another bird game as well mm. um, and, and what are those pitfalls that if you don't have marketing backing you up if you don't have a name for yourself people will not be willing to pay for your game i mean it's very easy to to assume that you know okay it's just 1 dollar i mean why would anyone have they have a they can go and buy a 300 dollar iphone why can't they pay 1 dollar for your game if it's a good game it's looking good and everything but mm. they don't know you i mean there are at the end of the day there are so many developers out there who have made a name for themselves and they bring out their games every day so they will pay for them because they know them and there's that trust that okay it's coming from these guys so like we had sigomo uh, uh, talking about their games yesterday so they built that trust over the years that people are willing to pay money but because it's a new sigomo game yeah. 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 yeah but for us why would someone pay super side games we've never heard of them how mm. do we know if their games any good mm-hmm. so so that is one big pitfall that you need so now that you are thinking uh, free to play because that gives people the chance to kind of <coughs> sample your game see what you've got to offer uh, what about then building on the revenue model there because i think people are still experimenting right on how uh, the free to play model will be monetized Yeah I mean there are a lot of ways free to play free to play really works um uh, there's this whole whales and sharks theory which I really don't understand he understands whales that but whales and dolphins there whales and dolphins okay yeah. <laughs> 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 but uh, no it's it's more like uh, so you can have like ad driven uh, networks are available which through which you can monetize uh, you have different kinds of ads now you, you have video ads these days uh, the, you have your in app store which is uh, becoming really really popular now in fact people look for stores in the games so where they can upgrade stuff buy new yeah. things get new of the and you know get new backgrounds and so on and so forth there's yeah. so many things the, 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 the whole ecosystem within the game is becoming bigger i feel in some games is becoming bigger than the game itself yeah. so yeah i mean so it depends on really how you want to uh, approach it do you want so what we feel is if the store is needed for the game in i mean your in in game store your game requires it then it makes sense mm-hmm. to have it there mm-hmm. but we feel that a lot of games is just pushing it like thrusting it upon the player mm-hmm. because it's become like a uh, oh, we need to earn money so let's put a store in there it's kind of thing okay. so okay. i feel that is kind of as a player i really am not really a big fan of that but i guess each person deals with the situation in his own way Okay so then uh, what plans <coughs> 2014 this new game is it going to be a free to play <coughs> that you'll work on So as of now we are uh, working on another version of yet another bird game okay. which is not going to be a separate release but an update to the current version which will be a free to play version for the game So um, over there we're going to work work out like he said that you know there are different things that may work for different people so we are going to see what works for us mm-hmm. and you know sort of come to that level where we can implement it in our future releases mm-hmm. as well mm-hmm. um apart from that we have another game in development which is still unnamed it's very different from what we've done with the previous games so that something we have that you know let's do something mm-hmm. entirely different okay so we have an, we will definitely have one more uh, release which is like planned and done for sealed which in will be coming months, out yeah. in the next few months so in the first half first quarter most probably of uh, 2014 we'll have a second release out as well yeah, the only thing we don't have ready for the game the second game is a name so so we are waiting for a good name for the Yet game get another game no it's <laughs> it's going to be different yeah. <laughs> i hope so yeah. if nothing comes we'll just call it yet another game <laughs> well, there we go we've got the names are going all right guys thank you so much good luck with your plans thank thanks you so for much. coming to us okay.